Hey everybody, Ripped Rick here, and today we are going to be playing some vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I know that a lot of people are interested in mod packs nowadays, but with this new update, I feel like it is appropriate to come back and play this because they added so many things that really it's like adding a mod pack. Um, I really, I, I played a lot of vanilla Minecraft. I used to play Minecraft on a laptop, making mods very difficult to play, so this... The series is just going back and, and having a good time with the game that I originally fell in love with, plus a few new things that they added in 1.8. Um, if you guys are interested in this idea, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, let me know that you are interested. And uh, yeah, so, so basically the idea behind this series is I am going to be explaining things, uh, like basic things, how to build uh, axes, pickaxes, any kind of tool you can think of, but we're, we're going to go over it. Uh, I know I know that a lot of you are like, oh, geez, I know all that. Well, s some people don't, and I, I really want people to love the game as I loved the game and love the game. Um, and the only way to do that is to get them started somehow, right? So... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to show you everybody the new things as long as well as the old things. Uh, we're going to have an adventure together. I'm going to do my best not to cut anything out of these videos because, I mean, authenticity is very important. And plus, it's, it's vanilla Minecraft. It should be a good time, right? So here's the idea. Uh, we're going to start by going into single player. Obviously, I have no worlds going right now, and that's because, well, this is a whole new version of Minecraft. Um, I... I started off with another vanilla set of Minecraft. I'm not using any type of launcher. This really is just the game. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new world. Now, we have a few things here. We can name our world. Let's name it uh, Ripped uh, Rick's what? Survival. And the idea is... I probably spelled that wrong. The idea is, is that... Um, Every three episodes, I will do my best to upload the latest version of the map so that you guys can play along with it. Um, I really, really want you guys to be as involved as possible with this series. Okay, we're going to go away. We're going to go into more world options, right? Uh, generate structures. We obviously want villages and dungeons. Those are randomly spawned. Uh, if you don't know about this in Minecraft, uh, the whole world is randomly generated. And the only thing that can be changed about the algorithm that generates it is this right here called the seed. Now, you can type in words into here. Um, you can type in numbers, anything. Um, I, for our sake, I'm going to leave it normal. And then I'm going to pull the seed out of the game. We're not going to deal with the world type even though I'll show them. Super flat obviously makes the world very flat. There's no big hills or anything. It makes searching very fun, um, but it will uh, it will make the seed so that nobody can really replicate the world without um, being able to download it straight from me. Uh, large biomes obviously just makes different biomes. There are winter biomes, uh, sand biomes, ocean biomes, river biomes, much larger. Um, it, it's it, it, the biome system is something we'll get into a little bit in the future. Amplified, uh, yeah, just for fun, requires a beefy computer, which I do have, but I understand that a lot of people don't uh, are, are not as fortunate as me, so we're going to keep away from the Amplified world, even though very, very beautiful. Uh, and Customized, you can go in and actually customize, like, the sea level, everything. I mean, it's, 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 this is a feature of, I believe, 1.8, where just about everything is, uh, is changeable at this point, uh, you can also randomize presets. Um, but like I said, we're not going to deal with any of that. It is very cool to have. Um, there are obviously a lot more details into it than uh, I, I would like to explain. But if you ever want to play around, I'm sure you can find tutorials on it. Um, it's just not something that I find important to cover because we're not going to be using it. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to go with default. We're uh, allow cheats. We are not going to because it's very important to me, like I said, that we keep things uh, very vanilla and, and very clean. Uh, the bonus chest is actually a starting chest that will give us uh, normally like a pickaxe or a sword or a shovel or, or wood in general. Uh, we're going to leave this off once again because it is important to me that we, we stay 100% true to the game. We do everything, the progression of things uh, very regularly. Okay, so now that I've explained that, uh, let's go ahead and get into this, right? I mean, let's go see our world. If you guys wanted to know, I am using a render distance of 10. I turn off my view bobbing because it makes a lot of things easier to see. Um, yeah, I believe I have clouds turned off and my brightness all the way up for you guys so that we can, we can actually see the world instead of uh, wondering what is happening. Um, yeah, so now it's, it's randomly, it's using that algorithm to randomly give us a spawn and a... 
a new home basically so here we go Ooh, we are in the world these here are pine trees or not pine birch i believe yep birch trees and this is oak oak trees oak trees are very uh the original tree to minecraft uh birch trees were uh, in there i believe originally as well if not originally then they were added very very early on yeah, so right now we're just going to collect some wood. We're going to get some achievements, I believe. Like opening our inventory, we're going to get taking inventory. So let's go ahead and go into our achievements. And we can see our achievement tree here. Uh, here, we took our inventory and now we have the achievement to get some wood. And then we're going to go into benchmarking and we'll, we'll expand onto these. I'll show what they are as we earn them. As to, uh, as to not bore you guys with one big achievement uh, explanation. See, and there we go. We get our getting wood achievement. Now what we can do is we can take these wood logs. We get four uh, planks per log, no matter what kind of log it is. And so we get four planks. And then if you put them in a two by two pattern like this, we get our crafting table. And there is benchmarking. That is the achievement for making our first crafting table. Um, I'm just going to collect some more wood. And then I think we're going to go off and do our best to find a place to settle now because we did spawn here that means if we die we will spawn back here or in this general area so i think we're going to want to keep our house close until we can change our spawn settings a little bit further on but we'll cover that later down the road now i can hear a pig right here if you guys don't know pigs have 10 hearts of health uh half of what a player has so he, he has 10 10 uh, 10 health, but 5 hearts. I apologize, that was a, a misspeak by me. Uh, most mobs uh, have uh, actually 10 health or, or 5 hearts. I'm going to do my best to call them hearts. I think we'll just do hearts, and we'll, I'll just tell you the exact number of hearts they have, because it'll be a lot easier than we don't have to keep jumping between the numbers, we don't get confused. So they have 5 hearts of health. Uh, let me just get up to a high vantage point here and see if we can't see something maybe beautiful that catches our eye that that will speak out to us and have us wanting to settle. Let's go. Let's go over to that peak, huh? Uh, actually, you know what? This is a perfect time to make our first items. So we're going to make a ton of planks because planks are important. No matter what, you're going to need planks. Now, in order to get sticks, you need to do a 2 by one pattern like that. So you get a bunch of sticks. We'll make a few more just in case. Uh, we are going to make a, our first axe. Um, actually, you know, we're going to go with a sword first. I'll explain that. Uh, the, the pattern for a sword is as follows. Uh, a wooden sword can do two and a half hearts of damage. Uh, and then the wooden axe cuts trees faster as well as does, um, I believe it is two hearts of damage. And the idea is, is axes will always do half a heart less damage than their sword counterparts. Uh, so that's a good thing to keep in mind just, you know, when you're PvPing or whatever you want to want to do. Or even killing animals, defending yourself from mobs. But yeah, see, and now we're getting a lot of stuff. See, most wood things, they mine a lot faster. We can pick those up a lot quicker than we would be able to before. Oh, hey, and over there is a cow. A cow also has only five hearts of health. Um, that means that it should only take us three hits with this axe in order to kill a cow. And which we will do so, uh, just to demonstrate that. So one, two, and three. There we go. Oh, it's dead. Uh, we from that we got our achievement cow tipper. We got leather from that. Mm. Leather can be used to make armor, which we will cover in a little bit. And the raw beef can be eaten to keep our hunger up, or can be cooked and then eaten to get our hunger even higher. Ooh, we have a nice shore here. Oh, and some rose bushes over there. That looks nice. Uh, I think we're gonna keep moving over to this peak, like I said, and we'll, we'll take a look down over there. But this is really beautiful. Um, it'd be really cool if we built our house up there now that I think about it. Uh, we'd have a good lookout and we'd be able to see our house from quite a bit of ways. And that is always a great thing to have when you're early on into the game. And, ooh, and, um, and you want to make sure you don't get lost because getting lost in this game is clearly very easy. I mean, I don't know where we spawned. We spawned over in that direction, but I, I don't know already. It, it's it's very easy to get carried away. Now, I said ooh, because if you can see out in the distance over there, we can see a jungle biome. Jungle biomes are very awesome. They have a lot of explaining to go with them. And this, this place is actually beautiful uh, with this curve out here. And wow, yeah, this is awesome. So I think what we're going to do is we will... Uh, I don't, I don't know about settling on top of the hill. 
I think we're going to actually settle over here on this one. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put like a big totem pole or something really cool up here at one point in order to signify where we're going to live or where we are living so that, you know, forever running from, from the mabs, we, uh, we can make it away. Now, this is a new stone that I can't quite pick up yet, but I'll show it to you guys in a bit. Don't worry. Uh, as you can see, I, I mined some, some dirt there. Um, but our, our main priority right now is bunkering down for the night. Um, we don't really have time to build a really nice house. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to make ourselves a shovel by using this recipe right here. Um, if you're wondering what the green bar below the axe I have right here, uh, that is our durability. Now, an axe's durability, I believe, is... Hold on. Give me a second here. An axe's durability is, for wood, it's 60 uses. Uh, the number does change depending on what material it is made out of. Um, so just keep that in mind. And we're also going to make a pickaxe, which I believe also has a durability of that many uses. Give me a second here. I'll go ahead and check. Yes, that is 60. 60 uh, as well. Uh, I believe they are matched across the board with all tools. Ooh, you know what? I should not leave my crafting table up there because I got a feeling we're going to need it. And uh, wood, we got to use wood sparingly at all times. So let's go ahead and get on top of this tree. We'll dig our way down. Um, and then we will uh, bunker in for the night for sure. Okay, and now that we are coming to the bottom here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to burrow into this wall here with our shovel. Because watch, see how fast that was? Now if I do this, a little bit slower. That's the idea is that that's why we make tools, tools speed up processes by a lot. Like this stone, uh, you would not be able to collect that stone if you just hit it with your hand. You see how much slower that's going? That's why we, we have to build the tools, and depending on what tool you're using, I keep jumping blocks there, I apologize. Depending on what tool you're using and what, what it's made out of, uh, the speed will change. So, if I have a, a, a um, diamond pickaxe, it's going to go a lot quicker than a wooden pickaxe, of course, and it's going to have a lot higher durability. So, yeah, we're just going to carve out a little bit of a cave, cave-ish section here. Um, but first, I think we should cover our backs... Because we need to be safe. Now, the way I did that, it was two by three in the crafting table. If you didn't see it, I did it very quickly. And if you're wondering how I am actually spreading things out so quickly, if you left click or right click and drag, it will even it will it will spread things out by one. You see how it does that? And if you double click, it'll pick them all up at once. Now, if you hold left click, it'll spread them out evenly. You see how it does that, where it does two in each? If you hold down left click and, and drag, it'll do it like that. And then once again, double clicking will pull back. So now we have three wooden doors, which I don't know what we'll do with yet, but at least we have them. You right click doors by to go in and out of them. Uh, what's important is to note that zombies and other mean, I, mean creatures would, uh, can go ahead and break those down if they wanted to. Uh, give me a second because I believe that we're on peaceful on accident. Oh, no, we're on normal. Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, I won't lock it so that if you guys download the world, I don't know how that will work. But uh, if you guys download the world and you just want to explore, you can put it on peaceful if you'd like. Uh, and then it's not it's not a problem for you. So, yeah, we, like I said, we're just going to clear out this area here. We are going to make a, a kind of a, a homestead, I guess. And we will probably go mining in a bit. Right now, we are doing a bit of mining, but I didn't really think we'll run into anything. And it looks like we hit the other side of this This here. It's fine, though. Um, what we will do is we'll just have a nice small home. Like I said, it's only for a, a short period of time just so we can, we can bunker down for the night. Now, our next recipe is going to be a furnace. Furnaces are created by making a O shape in the crafting table. Uh, and this is how we get our furnace. Now, furnaces are powered by... Uh, several things actually lava buckets coal charcoal wood logs leaves saplings uh, and sticks I believe now the idea behind a furnace is like I said or like as I stated earlier we can go ahead and put raw beef in here and put a log in and it will c cook that log and then uh, work with the beef and we will get cooked beef now the thing is is that this is good right but you see how fast this 
this uh, bar is going down, you see, and then look, we lose our cooking on that raw beef, which is unfortunate. So what you can do is you can put multiple in here all at once, or in order to make charcoal, you can put a few logs into here, and then a few logs in here, and these will go ahead and smelt into charcoal, and then the charcoal will last longer. There's also a few other perks to charcoal that I'm sure we'll be able to show here in a few minutes. Now, before night falls upon us, I believe we need to collect a little bit more wood, you know, just to be safe for the night, so we don't have to keep coming out, because there are mobs and they will try to kill you. Um, there are mainly zombies, spiders, skeletons, and creepers, which I'm sure we will run into very quickly here. Um, Hello, Mr. Cow. This is our friend. I don't know if we're going to have to kill him, so I don't want to name him. Yet. I'm actually kind of scared. It's okay. He'll, he'll just he'll just hang out with us, I guess. See, and here the sun is setting. Um, which is actually a very beautiful spot for the way we faced our, uh, our little hidey hole. See so yeah, well, how as the sun goes down, we will... Um, Continue to collect a little bit more wood. I mean, you can never be too safe. And then it also brings me to my next thing, which is in our inventory, you can see there are two little trees. And those little trees are called saplings. Now, we have two different types of saplings. We have the oak sapling and we have the birch sapling. The birch sapling obviously will grow a birch tree. The oak will grow an oak tree. But what we're going to want to do is plant them. Because if you replant the trees, then they will grow back into the big trees. And then we'll have more wood and we won't have to travel nearly as far to go get wood. Uh, if we just continue to pick up trees and don't pick up the saplings and replant them, then the area will be barren and then we'll have to go for long walks to go get specific types of wood. Now, it looks like our charcoal is done being created as well as we get a little bit of experience. That little green bar right down here is called an experience bar and, and that will be used later on when enchanting items. We will get into that obviously further down the road. Let's go ahead and create some more sticks here. Oop. And with these sticks, we will go ahead and pop them in here, and we will put a few pieces of charcoal on top of those sticks, and we will create our first torches. Now, in order to auto-craft things, like you can just left-click and pick them up like that, right? But in order to auto-craft things, you can hold shift and then left-click, and it will create the maximum number allotted in the, in the crafting table. Now, you need to be careful with that, because sometimes you can create, like... 30 doors on accident and it's a real problem so so just be careful know what you're doing don't like get into the habit of auto crafting everything because i'm sure i'll make a mistake in this and you guys will be able to laugh at me because i made a huge mistake okay also animals are attracted to light uh just because obviously it's safety to the monsters and i believe they are coded that way so now we are Clearly getting hungry a little bit, which is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and eat our first piece of steak. Steak is one of the highest, um, one of the one of the best food sources, I should say. Um, it, it will heal you for, or it will fill your hunger quite a bit, uh, and saturate you quite a bit. Saturation and hunger are two different things. Saturation is the uh, amount of time that hunger will stay up and hunger is clearly just the mm. bars that uh, are the little like lamb shanks it looks like in the bottom right uh, next to our hearts so now we're gonna go mining down a little bit um, actually I'm getting kind of sick of using this pickaxe so why don't we go ahead and create our next step of a pickaxe which is taking cobblestone and doing the same thing we would with the wooden planks but with stone and boom we have our first pickaxe we have our first achievement let's go ahead and check that out as you can see, we're moving right along. We're got it getting an upgrade, and that moves into overpowered. Build a notch apple. Ooh, that's interesting. We'll have to do that for sure. We also have hot topic done. Uh, we need to acquire hardware, which is smelt some iron. And, ooh, we got to go catch some fish. That'll be a good time. Okay, so remember, we need to place torches because if you don't place torches, mobs have the ability to spawn, and we don't want mobs in our base attacking us, especially when we're so under... Uh, underprepared currently so yeah we're just gonna keep digging down um you there are a few basic rules to minecraft which is uh, uh silly things like don't dig right below you because random caves do happen uh they, they uh, randomly spawn around around the world and if you fall into one you can die they can be very deep there are caverns there are um lava in the caves and, and it's just a lot safer to go down in a general direction um 
one that you can obviously see where you're going to be stepping next rather than going straight down or even sometimes straight up can be very dangerous even though they have implemented a few things in order to make it a little bit more safe. We're going to head up to the top of the stairs here. And um, I think we're going to call it an episode here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's Nightfall. Uh, hello. That was, look, hello. That was creepy. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See, and there's our first mob we can see out there. A little spider. I don't like spider spiders. I believe they have. What is it? Somewhere near six hearts of health, I believe. I have to do more research, but I believe it's six hearts of health, and um, they are become peaceful during the daytime. So we may see them out during the day. They won't burn alive like zombies or skeletons will, like I said. Oh, and they're over there. We can see a squid if you look really hard. But we'll we'll get into those guys in a little bit. Like I was saying, you guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you enjoy the series or you look forward to the series, please remember to hit that like button. Uh, if you have not already, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy the channel in, channel in general. And, um, yeah, have a great day.